The Omegong in Antwerp, by Erasmus de B. Omegong or Amigank, Dutch pronunciation, M, is the generic name for various medieval pageants celebrated in the Low Countries. The Omegong in Antwerp originated in the 14th century and is held on 15th of August. There were two Omegong processions held in Antwerp each year. The Omegong in Antwerp by Alexander van Bredel in the 15th, 16th and 17th century The Omegong of Antwerp was the most important in Flanders. The Ons Leve for Omegong consisted originally of two events, the first celebrated the religious feast of the Assumption of Mary. The second was a large, opulent secular participation of the guilds, crafts and chambers of rhetoric, each of which contributed a float to a procession through the streets of Antwerp. Some floats contained references to events of the preceding year. There was considerable rivalry between the guilds in their efforts to provide the most splendid display. In the 17th century the Omegong of Antwerp comprised these elements in the following order, the Omegong on the mayor in Antwerp in 1885 by Alexander Castiles the Younger the Omegong in Antwerp has been depicted in several paintings by Antwerp artists such as Erasmus de B. Alexander van Bredale, Alexander Castiles the Younger and Pieter van Aylst. The Omegong in Brussels on May 31, 1615, by Dennis van Alsloot the Omegong of Brussels is celebrated every July in Brussels. According to legend, the origin of the Omegong of Brussels goes back to a local devout woman named Beatrice Soetkins. She had a vision in which the Virgin Mary instructed her to steal the miraculous statue of Ons Lievrouw op T. Stikskin, Our Lady On. The little stick, in Antwerp, bring it to Brussels, and place it in the chapel of the Crossbowmen's Guild in the Sablon slash Zavel district. The woman stole the statue, and through a series of miraculous events, was able to transport it to Brussels by boat in 1348. It was then solemnly placed in the chapel and venerated as the patron of the guild. The guild also promised to hold an annual procession, called an Omegong, in which the statue was carried through Brussels. Through the following decades, what was originally a religious procession took on gradually a more worldly outlook. The Omegong of 1549 corresponds to a golden age of the procession. From the mid-16th century, the Omegong not only celebrated the miraculous legend, but became intertwined with the joyous entry of Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. The Omegong thus developed into an important religious and civil event in Brussels' annual calendar. Another famous Omegong in Belgium is the Ras Bayard Omegong in Dendermonde. In this Omegong, which is held every ten years, a giant wooden horse is displayed in the town centre. Four boys from the same family of Dendermonde have the honour to ride the horse while it is on display. The Infanta Isabella shooting the Grand Sermon bird with a crossbow at the Sablon during the Omegong in Brussels of May 31, 1615, by Antoon Salert the most infrequent Omegong. Only held once every 25 years, is part of the cavalcade of Hansik in Mechelen. The Omegong element evolved from the annual procession around the city walls held since 1330 as a token of gratitude to Mechelen's patron St. Rumbold who miraculously ended a siege. A Ras Bayard which is smaller but older than the one in Dendermonde is mounted in the same manner and the family of six city giants stands out. As in other cities, the commemoration became located largely within its center. The annual Ducasidot has one of the largest of city giants, Dias. Many of these traditions in Belgium and France are protected as an oral and immaterial cultural legacy by UNESCO. With reference to physical artifacts such as giants and dragons carried by humans. Thanks for watching.